Hey, what's up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome today to a bit of a Pink Dumbia squad builder. Now, if you follow me on Twitter, if you don't, you should, um, then you will have noticed last week when the pink cards came out, I was really, really struggling to get my hands on Pink Dumbia on the first night. He then, of course, by the end of the week became very, very saturated and you could get him for his minimum price and that really annoyed me. But it did mean I finally get a chance to use his card. So, in goal today, we've got Ike Casilla, someone who has now transferred to the Portuguese league for FC Porto. So, no longer a Real Madrid goalkeeper. That's kind of sad. Um, but, moving on to the defence in this 4-3-3 number 4 variant, we have got Alberto Moreno at left back. The 78 rated Spaniard who plays for Liverpool has got a lot of pace and that's what you need on the game. Uh, we've then got an informed version of Caceres at right back, 80 rated, 83 pace, 85 defending, 80 physical, would be an awesome centre back because that's where his default regular card is. We've then got informed Jeremy Matthew who is a very, very good centre back. Six foot four with 77 pace, that's what I like to see. We've then got Rafael Varane who is six foot three with 76 pace, pretty much just as good and I think I actually prefer him to Matthew. It just just plays better to be honest and of course he's much cheaper the midfield is a blue trio of goodness now this guy Cesc Fabregas I have previously slated I hated him but this time I used him I found him to be absolutely awesome like he's just up and down the pitch and he did some really really good work I have to admit then Nangolan at Cam was exquisite. Uh, he scored some good goals for me and he was just everywhere. Again, up and down the pitch. High, high work rates works perfectly for him at Cam. Uh, and then Paul Pogba's team of the season. One of the best cards on this game. He is honestly just awesome. I've played him all the way from CDM up to striker. He's got 21 goals, 6 assists in 26 games. Not too shabby. Uh, and he's just got the most unbelievable stats. 80 plus rated in every category. Uh, this is our front three today. We've got Quadrado's card before he moved to Chelsea was at Fiorentina. And of course, that is the card we're using right here. 83 rated with the five-star skill moves, of course. He's one of the best sort of non-informed players on this game. I love him. Good five-star skiller there. Uh, and then we've got Eden Hazard's regular card, who is probably one of the best left-sided players on the game. 89 pace, 82 shoot, and 84 passing, and ridiculous dribbling as well. And then the man. Pink Seydou Dumbia, the one that I've been waiting for for so long, was a bit of a letdown, I'm afraid. Like, seven goals in ten games. I was struggling like mad with this team. He's got 96 pace, 86 shooting, and 86 dribbling. But does he really live up to it? And in my opinion, the, the answer is no. Um, it's a shame because I had this guy in my head. It was just so hyped that he was going to be the most outstanding player on the game. But people like Team of the Season Griezmann are better than him in my eyes. Which they should be, I guess, because they're higher rated. Um, but Dumbia has got this like stigma to him that he's just one of the most OP, awesome players on the game. Maybe I don't know how to use him properly. Maybe, you know, I'm just one of those exquisite, excellent sort of skiller type people. No, no, no one's even believing that, are they really? Um, I am a bit of a sweaty player when it comes to it. Like, I want to try and win. Uh, and even with Dumbia, like, I was struggling to get those goals. This is quite a nice nice finish from Cesc Fabregas by the way who I was as I said extremely impressed with like he was just such a well-rounded player in this squad and previously when I've used him he hasn't been that um Eden Hazard that's a nice goal lovely little heel click and then in off the post and it sort of rolled just past the line uh, and that's a frustrating one because you feel like your keeper kind of could have saved it um but it just doesn't um Quadrado scored a couple of goals for my team. Look at that. The guy just gifted me the ball in the 113th minute. That's got to hurt because we had a really, really tough match against each other. And to then give me the goal, that's going to be where I run away shushing you. Um, that's a sick goal. That's a really, really nice acrobatic style goal. That's what you can do if you play it short from a corner. Double tap that ball into the box. If your player's in the right place, he's going to go for that acrobatic one. As long as you're holding LT, I believe it is, or L2 on the PlayStation. Um, but we're now moving on to nine Golan's goals. Look at the movement from this guy. So he plays it off to Dumbia. Dumbia is through one on one. What's he going to do? Keeper saves it. Who's in the right place at the right time? It is nine Golan. I know it goes in off a defender, but again, look at the movement here. Great pass from Eden Hazard. And then he's just there. He's got the finishing. He also does help back and help in that sort of centre mid roll a little bit. In an ideal world, I would have switched Pogba and Nine Golan, um, but for chemistry reasons, I couldn't really do that. But as you see here, sometimes he actually plays like a striker. He is literally further up um, than Dumbia at some points in time. Like in, in this specific environment, that's, that's where he was. 
But then we get to Dumbia, and as I said, seven goals, ten games. That's not really going to cut it, is it? You know, like this goal right here, uh, I'm about to score it, but it gets tackled. And then luckily for me, his defender gets a bit cocky and I win it back. But it's those scrappy types of goals that you're going to score with Dumbia. I'm not going to lie. Like, it, this is this is probably one of the main ones that you should be doing and I don't do enough of. It's the running past the goalkeeper and then just tapping it into the back of the net. That's what I always get stuck with and stung with whenever I play against Dumbia. Um, but I don't ever get myself into that situation very often. I'm always trying to shoot from just outside the box or just inside the box. I never really, it doesn't like compute with me. It doesn't ever try and get past the goalkeeper and run past him. It's just not how I play really for some reason. Um, but that was a nice goal. That was running through an in incredibly large amount of players and just skinning them all. And then a solid finish into the back of the net. Uh, but this is probably, uh, this is the last goal that we scored with him. A nice bit of play. Really solid sort of movement and stuff between him and Quadrado and a good finish. If you've enjoyed the video, smash the like button. I'll catch you next time, guys. Peace.